They always sit there with that puzzled look on their face. They're trying to read it thinking, you know, something doesn't look right about that, but I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Just get the little jab in there, you know. Why do people believe in evolution? Well, you might want to get this book, The Case Against Darwin. Excellent. Short book, quick read for, for your intellectual friends that want to uh, get the quick picture. Some people, that's all they've ever been taught. When I spoke in Russia, I was over there at the university. There were 30 professors came in to hear me speak. And after about an hour, one of the professors was crying. And I asked the interpreter, I said, what's, what's he crying about? And she said, he's never heard the evolution. He's never heard the creation story. He didn't know there was one. All he's ever heard is evolution. He wants you to keep going. I went for another hour. I spoke at a public school over there in Russia. The room would seat 400 kids. They had 700 high schoolers come in there and listen to me for two hours. I mean, you could have heard a pin drop the whole time. I couldn't believe it. When I asked the principal before I started, I said, hey, uh, are there any things I shouldn't say to these kids? I know this is a public school. It's kind of sensitive. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm a Christian. Is it okay to tell them, you know, talk, mention the Bible? He said, oh, yeah. Talk, Tell them anything you want. I said, well, would it be okay if I told them, you know, how to go to heaven? He said, sure, sure, please do. These kids would love to hear about Christianity. They've never heard any of this. <laughs> wow. Door you can drive a truck through, brother. But they use the same lies in Russian textbooks. Here's a Russian textbook talking about the forelimb, proving evolution, and the different geologic column strata, all the stuff we covered earlier. So why do they believe this stuff? Well, some believe it because that's all they've been taught. Some, their job depends on it. Some, they hope there's no God to answer to. They did not like to retain God in their knowledge, the Bible says. They just don't like this idea. And it says, God will send them strong delusion. The more I think about this, that is so true. Anybody that believes they came from a rock 4.6 billion years ago has to be strongly deluded. Think about it. Oh, there's so much we could cover on this. Some people simply have too much pride to admit they have been wrong all their life. So, kids are being taught evolution. There's no question about it. Kids are being lied to in these textbooks. There's no question about it. What do we do about it? Well, we cover that in great detail on our public school presentation on uh, the Green series of tapes. Get the public school presentation. We'll tell you step by step what to do, how to get these lies out of your textbook, how you can get on the school textbook selection committee, how you can get your kid exempt from class, Parents, if, you're, if your kids are in a public school, you should send a little note to the teacher saying, I don't want my child taught evolution. It's against my religious convictions. Sign it, notarize it if you'd like, give it to the teacher and to the principal. Then if they continue giving you a hard time, you say, oh, now, excuse me, do you discriminate against people because of their religious convictions? Watch their eyes light up on that one. And if they still give you a hard time, contact me. I got some lawyers waiting in the wings that are anxious to get a lawsuit like that. Title 42, discrimination based on religion. Wow. That principal's going to be the garbage collector the next week. I guarantee you that principal's going to call that teacher in and say, look, let this kid out of class. Stop teaching evolution. I had one guy call me a couple years ago. He said, Brother Hovind, my second grade daughter's teacher just called me. And the teacher said, Mr. Jones, whatever his name was, I forget. He said, your second grader's in my class, your daughter, and she stops me every time I start teaching something about evolution. And the teacher said, I've just decided I'm going to skip this evolution stuff for the rest of the year until your daughter's out of my class. <laughs> and my first thought was, yay. And then I thought, wait, 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 wait. Why are we sending second graders off to war? This is a battle the parents ought to be fighting, not the kids. We're the salt of the earth. Salt irritates. Hey, if nobody's irritated at you, you're not a good Christian. You don't have to try to irritate them. You try to be salty. That will irritate them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Salt preserves from corruption. How come you got so many lies in the textbooks right here in Tennessee in the middle of the Bible Belt? Where's the Christians that are supposed to preserve the world, huh? Why don't some of you get on the school board and do something about this? Why don't some of you get a committee to say, hey, let's take these pages out of the book. This is a lie. It won't cost the school anything. I'll show you. How many of you would volunteer to take the pages out of the book and bring your own scissors? <laughs> Won't cost the school a dime. Right, let's, let's do better than that. How many of you would pay $20 for the privilege of being on the committee to cut the pages out of the book and still bring your own scissors? <laughs> we just had a fundraiser. We just raised a thousand bucks for the school. Wow. Won't cost them a dime. 
There are many good, sincere, godly public school teachers, and I praise God for them. And they are as frustrated as I am with what's going on. If you've got a good teacher in your school that wants to do what's right, support them. Because I guarantee if there's a teacher that tries to get up and stand up for creation and against evolution, there's a good possibility they'll get fired or get persecuted for it. We cover much more on that on video number seven, how teachers get persecuted for standing up for what's right. Many teach this theory because they simply have never been taught anything else. Many don't know it's okay to teach creation. It's perfectly fine. Well, what do we do? Well, there's a long history of how we got this theory in our schools, and we'll cover all that in the public school presentation. And what do we do about it? It's all covered on videotape number five. We'll show you the dangers of this theory. It's not just a dumb idea. It's a dangerous religion. And then tell you some real practical steps to fix it on seminar part five. Thank you for joining us.